A trigonometric equation or identity is not necessarily valid for all possible angles. There are some restrictions. When working with trigonometric equations and identities, one must be aware that there are some non-permissible values for theta. Just like with regular numbers, division by zero is not defined. Sine and cosine are the most important ratios because all other ratios can be defined by them. Knowing exact sine and cosine values for some special angles helps us detect when we're trying to divide by zero. Exact values for the sine of zero degrees or zero radians, 90 degrees or pi over two radians, 180 degrees or pi radians, and 270 degrees or three pi over two radians can be obtained from a circle like this using x and y coordinates. The radius r for this circle is equal to one. If you like, pause the video, look at each angle, and see how the values of sine are obtained. This table summarizes the values of sine for these four angles in degrees and radians. Notice that zero degrees, or zero radians, and 180 degrees, or pi radians, both have a sine equal to zero. Here's a simplified version of the diagram and the table, showing only the two angles for which sine equals zero. It's very important to become familiar with the angles for which sine is equal to zero. Exact values for the cosines of the four angles shown can be obtained from a circle like this, using x and y coordinates. If you like, pause the video, check each angle and its coordinates, and see how the values of cosine are obtained. This table summarizes the values of cosine for these four angles. Notice that 90 degrees, or pi over two radians, and 270 degrees, or three pi over two radians, have a cosine equal to zero. Here's a simplified version of the diagram in the table, showing only the two angles for which the cosine equals zero. It's very important to become familiar with the angles for which cosine is zero. This table tells us that the sine of 90 degrees, or pi over two radians, is equal to one, and the sine of 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2 radians, is equal to negative 1. Knowing these can be handy when determining restrictions for some trigonometric expressions. This table tells us that cosine of 0 degrees, or 0 radians, is equal to 1, and the cosine of 180 degrees, or pi radians, is equal to negative 1. Knowing these can also be handy when determining restrictions for some trigonometric expressions. When determining restrictions, we write our ratios so that they're in terms of sine and cosine. However, this table can help us check values of cosecant, secant, and cotangent for the four angles shown. The example we'll show you now illustrates the steps used to determine restrictions in a trigonometric identity or equation. We're asked for the restrictions on the identity cosecant theta times tan theta equals secant theta. We'll start by writing each ratio so it's in terms of only sine and cosine. Cosecant theta is the same as one over sine theta. Tan theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta. And secant theta is the same as one over cosine theta. So here is the same identity, only now it's written in terms of only sine and cosine. Because sine theta is in the denominator here, it cannot be equal to zero. And because cos theta is in the denominator here, it cannot be equal to zero. Also, cos theta is in the denominator over here, so it cannot be equal to zero. So we've examined the ratios and found that if sine theta or cos theta was equal to zero, we would be dividing by zero. Therefore, we set the restrictions that sine theta is not equal to zero and cos theta is not equal to zero. The sine of zero degrees and 180 degrees is equal to zero, so angle theta cannot be zero degrees or 180 degrees. Zero degrees is zero radians and 180 degrees is pi radians, so we'll also include these in our restrictions. The cosine of 90 degrees and 270 degrees is equal to zero, so angle theta cannot be 90 degrees or 270 degrees. 90 degrees is pi over two radians, and 270 degrees is three pi over two radians. So these can be added to our restrictions. The fact that cosine theta cannot be equal to zero on the right-hand side also leads to these restrictions. 
So we can state that these are the restrictions on this identity. Restrictions can be found for trig identities and trig equations. Well, we can also determine restrictions for a single trigonometric expression. We're asked for the restrictions on the statement or expression. Sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. The denominator of the expression is 1 plus cos theta. And the denominator of the expression cannot be equal to 0. So 1 plus cos theta cannot be equal to 0. This means cos theta cannot be equal to negative 1. The cos of 180 degrees is equal to negative 1. So theta cannot be equal to 180 degrees. 180 degrees is pi radians. So theta cannot be equal to pi radians. So the restrictions on this statement are theta is not equal to 180 degrees and theta is not equal to pi. In summary, division by zero is not defined. We begin by writing all trigonometric expressions in terms of sine and cosine. Then we examine all the ratios we have and find which ones could result in dividing by zero. Lastly, we exclude all angles which would result in a division by zero.